So almost every day we are faced with different situations and challenges. And in most cases, when we are faced with new situations, we usually feel awkward, nervous, and fearful. So the question is, how can we stay confident in any situation? You know, if you are regular on this channel, you'll be seeing me approaching girls and showing you guys how to approach girls or how to talk to girls. The question is, am I a naturally born confident guy or there are some certain things that I do? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal everything to you guys. I'm going to reveal my number one confident secret. And I'm also going to be sharing most powerful six confidence hack. So make sure you keep watching. What's going on, everybody? If you're new to the channel, my name is Idris. Welcome to another video. I want us to start this video with two questions. And the first one is, why do we feel fearful, awkward, or nervous when we're faced with new situation you know most times when we are faced with new situation we usually feel nervous or awkward and most times i also feel the same so what causes that awkwardness the cause is simply fear now the second question is what causes fear well fear comes from uncertainty and it is natural inborn in almost everybody almost everybody fears something just like this more than each other now i'm going to review my number one confidence first thing i always do is i simply embrace fear and face it you know most times when we are faced with new situation and you feel awkward or you feel nervous the goal is not to avoid fear the goal is simply face it and walk in the direction of fear because once you face your fear it naturally disappears so what you want to do is simply face it and my secret is fake it till you make it what you will have to do is you simply have to fake it you have to act as if you have confidence or as if you have one and once you keep faking it over time your confidence will catch up or over time your reality will match up with your idea so what you have to do is simply fake it or anytime you are faced with new situation don't try to avoid the fear simply walk in the direction of fear you know most times myself included i usually fear something but once my mind started beating boom 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 what i used to do is i don't overthink of what next to do i simply let go of maybe failure you know our friend used to think about failure or different conversations we start going in our head what if i pay or what if i'm rejected or what if people laugh at me you know different conversations will be going off with our brain so what you have to do is simply get rid of all those conversations and walk in the direction of fear so now i'm going to share my six confidence hacks with you guys and the first one is self-composition now self-composition simply means how you compose yourself how you talk how you dress and how you build your relationship with people and self-composition can be emotional or physical so let's start with emotional first emotional composition is about what you think about yourself you judge yourself or you let others judge you let go of what people think about you you know what people think about you is almost or always different from your reality or what you think about yourself so you simply have to live life in a way that aligns to yourself or to your values so you have to get rid of all noise all conversations going in your head what you want to do is to compose yourself and feel good about yourself because if you don't feel good about yourself don't expect others to feel good staying with you so you have to let go of people's judgment and you have to start loving yourself and take care of yourself for physical composition physical composition is about how you dress because how you dress is how you be addressed because dressing is so important you know it helps you make a very good first impression and anytime you are going out you don't want to miss your first impression with people anytime you are going out and you dress well it helps you feel good about yourself and it helps you receive free compliments you know when people see you they will cherish you they will compliment you they will admire you and even you yourself you will start feeling good about yourself so what you want to do is simply dress well i don't care about your dressing style just dress in a way that it will make you feel comfortable about yourself anytime you want to leave home you want to make sure you dress in a way that you feel good about yourself because if you don't feel good about yourself how do you think you'll be comfortable outside maybe doing something or talking to people my dressing pattern is only simple i'm very comfortable just wearing jeans you know my top clothes and shoes you know most times when i'm going out you just want to dress in a way that you feel good and 
comfortable. You have to let go of people's judgments rather than what you think about yourself. So that was composition. Number two is to always be prepared. Now what you want to do is to be prepared for uncertainty and unexpected situations. You know, most times when we want to do anything, we always expect a perfect plan. We expect things to go the way we want. But in reality, it doesn't always go that way. So we have to be always prepared for a certain things and for a plan situation. Anytime you are taking on something or when you are doing something, what you want to do is hope for the best, but always prepare for the worst. Because once you are well prepared, that mindset of preparation will help you pass through the challenges. But if you are not prepared, what usually happens is you simply quit or you lack persistence. So that's why you always want to prepare yourself. Number three is to speak loud and be vocal. Now, anytime you are in public or anytime you are talking to people, what you want to do is you want to speak loud and you want to be vocal. You don't want to be dull. You know, guys, so today, what I want to share with you guys. How do you guys you don't feel the vibe? But anytime you are speaking and you are speaking vibrantly, you are speaking vocal, people can hear you. You are speaking loudly and people can hear you. It demonstrates that you are confident. So anytime you are talking to people, what you want to do is you want to speak loudly and boldly. That shows you are highly confident. Number four is to keep high contact. Now, this is most challenging for most guys. When they are talking to people, keeping high contact is usually hard for them because they feel shy or their mind will be beating boom, 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 boom. So what you want to do is simply keep eye contact. When you keep eye contact with the person you are talking to, it help you stay more confident and more focused on what you are talking about or what you are saying. So anytime you are talking to people, you want to focus on their eyes and you have to speak loudly and boldly, just as I said before. So make sure you keep high contact. And number five is to set and pursue bigger goals. Now, most times you realize that you usually feel comfortable doing the same thing over and over. But anytime you set a bigger goal for yourself, it creates a new challenge. And bursting through that challenge, through the process, that's what unleashes your confidence. That's what helps you to stay more confident. But if you are doing the same thing over and over, you get too comfortable doing the same thing. And when you are too comfortable doing the same thing, it makes you feel reluctant. So to keep unleashing your confidence, what you have to do is simply keep setting bigger goals for yourself and once you set a big goal for yourself you want to make sure you follow through the process even if you are facing challenges or any difficulty for example one of my biggest goals for the year is simply to write and publish my first book which is mastering youtube in the process of writing the book i encountered lots of challenge because one of the reasons why i set the goal for myself this year is simply i've been making video for the past two three or four years so I'm more comfortable making videos now, but I'm not good at writing, so I want to improve my writing skills. And one of the ways I can improve my writing skills is simply set the people of writing a book. So now I'm getting more comfortable writing and I can see my writing skills is improving gradually. So what you have to do is simply keep setting big goals for yourself and once you set big goals for yourself and you follow through the process, it helps you unlock your confidence. And lastly, number six is to surround yourself with confident people. Now, if you are constantly surrounded by fearful people, you have to know that fearful people love to create fear in others so they will make others feel comfortable living in fear. But if you are surrounded by confident people, you will start borrowing their confidence and over time you realize that your confidence is matching up with their confidence. So the goal is simple. Simply increase the time you spend with confident people and lower the time you spend with fearful people. Anytime you want to try something new or something big, simply surround yourself with people that have already done it and are sharing the process or people that are willing to help you through the process, not people that will tell you, oh, it's not possible, you can't do it, or nobody has ever done it, you know, people that will tell you different words to block your mind or people that will tell you that you shouldn't do it, so compared to people that inspire you and motivate you to go for it. So it's different and opposite mentality so that's why you always want to surround yourself with confident people
So join me live during this weekend. I'll be live on Saturday, Sunday. I want you two guys to join me on the live stream because I'll be taking your questions to we'll speak one on one. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and please get to watch your comment videos on the page.